Hello everyone. Today we are discuss about a distributed embedded system. In a distributed embedded system, several processing elements pieces are connected by a network that allows them to communicate. It is a distributed embedded system architecture. Processing element, it is a 16 bit CPU and processing element 2, it is a sensor. A processing element 3, digital signal processing and the processing element 4 asic and the fifth one microcontroller the these fifth are connected in a network system processing elements may include the dsp cpu or microcontroller non programmable units such as the asic is also used to implement as p process element by using this entire processing element it forms bus topology It is also possible to form other topology also it is also possible that the system can use more than one network such as when relatively independent functions require rel relatively little communication among them all the processing elements are connected by communication link the system of pieces and networks form the hardware platform on which the application runs why distributed higher performance at lower cost physically distributed activities that is time constraints may not allow transmission to central site improved debugging use one cpu in network to debug others may by subsystem that have embedded processor distributed system are necessary because the device that the p is communicate with the physically separated network abstractions networks are co complex systems they provide high level services while hiding many of the details of the data transmission from the other components in the system to understand network design the international standards organization has developed a seven layers model of for networks known as open system interconnection model it's based on a common mo model of network architecture and is suited for suite of protocols used in its implementation the international organization for standardization its iso established the open system interconnection reference model each layer deals with a particular aspect of network communication there are seven layers in the model hence the name the lay seven layers model the model act as a frame of reference in the design of communication and networking products it's a seven osi layer first one physical layer second one data link layer third one network layer fourth one transport layer fifth one session layer sixth one presentation layer and the last one application layer the osi model describes how information or data makes its way from application programmers through a network medium to another application programmer locked located on another network The OSI reference model is a hierarchical structure. Same changes in one layer should not require changes in other layer. It's a flow of data. It's first sending to computer and receiving computer. Sending computer from the application to the physical layer and the receiving computer physical layer to application layer. First one is a physical layer. The lowest layer of the OSI model, it is concerned with the transmission and reception of the unstructured raw bit streams over a physical medium it describes the electrical optical mechanical and functional interfaces to the physical medium and carries the signals for the entire higher layer data link layer is responsible for the transfer of data over the channel it groups zeros and ones into frames A frame is a series of bits that form a unit of data. The data link layer provides error-free transfer of data frames from one node to another over the physical layer. It contains two sublayers: medium access controller (it's a MAC) and logical link control layer (LLC). Data link layer divides the bit stream of the physical layer into frames. Messages contains data and control information. it handles lost damages and duplicate frames network layer this is responsible for addressing messages and data so they are not sent they are sent to the correct destination 
and for translating logical address and names into physical address. This layer is also responsible for finding a path through the network to the destination computer. Lowest layer that deals with host to host communication call this end to end communication. Functions of network layer, logical addressing, routing and framing, fragment, fragmentation. Next one, the transport layer. Ensure that messages are delivered error free in sequence and with no losses or duplication. It relieves the higher layer protocols from any concern with the transfer of data between them and their peers. It also provides flow control, sequence numbering and messaging acknowledgement. Function of transport layer, message segmentation, message acknowledgement, session multiplexing. Next one, the session layer. Adds mechanism to establish, maintain, synchronize and manage communication between network end, end types. The session layer allows session establishment between process running on different stations. Services provided by session layer. Synchronization and dialogue management. The next one, presentation layer, is responsible for data compression, data expansion, data encryption, and data decryption. The last one is the application layer. It contains all services or protocols needed by application software or operating system to communicate on the network. Typically, typical applications include a client or server application on email and an application to transfer files using FTP or HTTP. Hardware and software architecture. Distributed embedded system can be organized in many different ways depending upon the nodes of the application and cost constraint. Point to point. Point to point link establishes uh, connection between exactly two PEs. Point to point. Links are simple to design precisely because they deal with only two components. The signal processing system built from point to point link. It's a point of P1 and the link P2 and next P3. First data sent to P1 to and to P1 to 2 and to P2 to P3 send the data. Input device sampled the signal and passed to the first digital filter. By using point to point link, the result of that filter are sent through a second point to point link to filter 2. The result in turn are sent to the output device over a third point to point link. The filters must process their inputs in a timely fashion. It is possible to build full duplex point to point distributed system. A bus is a more general form of network since it allows multiple devices to be co connected to it. Like a microprocessor bus P is connected to the bus have addresses. Communication between processing elements takes place by using packets. It's a format of packets. It's header and address and data error correction. It's uh, dependent upon time. Packet ca contains destination address, user data and error correction codes. Sending data of size is not exactly fit into packet, but processing elements must take care of packets. The data to be transmitted from one PE to another may not fit exactly into the size of the data payload on the packet. It is the responsibility of the transmitting PE to divide its data into packets. The receiving PE must of, uh, of course resemble, reassemble the complete data message from the packets. Orbitation scheme. The device that is allowed to initiate transfers on the bus at any given time is called as called the bus master. Fixed priority at arbitration. High priority devices always get changed to transmit data. Flow priority device and high priority device are ready to transmit data. Then high priority device will transmit data. Then low priority device will transmit data. Fair arbitration schemes. These schemes take care of starvation. Round robin arbitration. Is the most commonly used of the fair arbitration scheme. The PCA bus requires that the ad arbitration scheme used on the bus must be fair, although it does not spe specify a particular arbita arbitration scheme. Most implementations of PC PCA use round robin arbitration. Crossbar network. A bus topology provides limited available bandwidth. Since all devices connect to the bus, 
communication can interface with each other for reducing communication conflicts other network topology can be used a cross power network uses an p into p cross m grid of switches to connect p inputs to m output in a non blocking manner a connection of one processor to a given memory bank does not block a connection of master connection of another processor to different memory bank there must be p into b switches it is reasonable to assume that b greater than p c less than b a link carries one message a switch can process up to up to messages at the same time crossbar is not fault tolerant failure of any switch box will disconnect certain pairs thank you